Island deep in debt, Dowling College is shutting its doors. The abrupt closure leaves faculty without jobs and thousands of students scrambling to find another school. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose has the story of the college closing. Anxious students standing in lines that snaked for hours, waiting for transcripts and worried about their futures. I'm not trying to spend my whole day here to get my transcript. Like, I have two months to find another college. Dowling College struggling for years, but students still stunned with the news that doors will close this Friday. A uh, big headache. Hopefully, I could finish up in another semester since I only had one left, but I'm not sure what credits will and will not transfer yet. Long Island's first four year college, founded nearly 50 years ago in Oakdale, was steeped in debt. Its bonds junked rated. Plagued with plunging enrollment, a last-ditch effort to find an academic partner to stay afloat fell through, and its popular aviation school not enough to pull it through. Not going to find another school like this, so I'm very sad to go, and I really don't want to go, but uh, I don't really have a choice. Dowling's president had issued a statement saying they had no choice but to close after months of negotiations with potential investors failed. But 2,400 students now worry it's too late to enroll elsewhere for summer classes or to earn precious sports scholarships. The colleges I want to go to either had like a team already and can't give out scholarship money. This institution uh, jumped in right away to say how can we help the students at Dowling College who are now facing uh, this very difficult uh, uh, challenge. And Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone offered students the choice to transfer to Suffolk Community College, and Molloy College of Rockville Center is already scheduling appointments to meet with anxious students looking to transfer. In Oakdale, Richard Rose, TV 1055. One question still unsettled is whether students who pay tuition up front for next year will get their money back. Well,